Hi, I just felt like doing a video on history and my thoughts on history. Uh, history is one of those subjects that I am a big geek about. I am the biggest history buff that I know. I'm not even talking about just World War One, World War Two shit. World War One, World War Two shit, which most people just look at and then they say, Oh, I'm history buff. I love war history. I love I love this type of history. I love that type of history. They shut they shun the name history buff. They shun the name history geek. History geek and history buff, although synonymous, do not just encompass one 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 little part of what history is supposed to be all about. If you look at World War II and then you say, wow, that was a great war that happened. I look at it, I look back at it, I look at Hitler and all those things. Yeah, sure, you look at Hitler and then you say, well, Hitler was a bad man and he killed the Jews and he put him in concentration camps and blah 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 and then the allied forces and the and the uh, Japanese and the Germans went against the allied forces and then eventually Germany fell and then that's it that is nowhere near the full story of what history is supposed to be about history is supposed to encompass every single little aspect that you can ever get your bare hands on if you look at World War II, you have to understand what exactly made World War II happen in the first place. Once you figure out what exactly did World War II come from, where exactly did Hitler's power come from, why did he get the power, you have to understand exactly Exactly. Did something like this happen before in Germany's history? And if it didn't happen before in Germany's history, did something else like this ever happen in human history as a whole anywhere in the world? And then you have to understand why did it happen at that specific date and why did it ha and and what implications did it have on the world or in that little part of the world? Then you go for how did this interfere with the human psyche? Now, history, a lot of people under, uh, understand history as just a bunch of dates and boring, useless information, which it is not at all. History is a giant clusterfuck of awesomeness. And you have to understand this because you can use history not as one of those dinner conversations when you go up and you say a random fact Lloyd, about what happened during uh, 1454 in uh, Great Britain or something else like that or or another factoid that could be about uh, about one of the queens of Russia leaving the firstborn son with anemia in in a uh, in a little prison cell and went in to feed him every single uh, day but never touched him at all and eventually this kid died without ever seeing the outside world except for the same four corners that he's always been looking at for about five ten years before his death no that, that, that's not that's not all that history is and once you understand this and once you and once you look back at the facts that you need to your mind is open to the possibilities of what human nature is all about it is open to the possibilities of what we can do in order to move forward in human society 
Like math, like science, it is a tool that we can use to understand how to expand her horizons. While math and science are both tools to expand our technology and expand our understanding of the world around us and understanding of what is happening around us as um, biologically speaking, as chem chemically speaking, as ast astronomically speaking, as anything else like that, human history and history as a whole is just as important. And you can use this not for, not for impractical applications that science mostly puts out, or practical, uh, practical uh, uh, uses that science puts out, like technology and stuff. Stuff, but this could be used as practical and impractical things for, um. Uh, politics, it could be used for psychi uh, psychology, psychiatry, it could used, be used with science and math in order to understand exactly what's happening in neurology or something else like that. It could be used as almost anything. And once you look and compare two things in history, what's going on now, for example, in the United States and our economic crisis and look back to the time of Rome and its falling you can understand that we might be headed in the same direction although there is one cliche that says history repeats itself that may be true but it is not always true because even if it does repeat itself there are still measures to get to a better position than we did in order to stop or slow down our undertaking. In this case, our undertaking of our entire nation of the United States of America. So, next time somebody tells you or next time you think that history is pointless, history is just used as a... Uh, used as a tool to come up with funny or boring or stupid old facts that nobody cares about because it's it's happened in the past. That's a bunch of bullshit. Understand history is more than just dates and numbers. That's all.